and she was right back out again in a week. So she's been, I think she's been having some spells, you know, but, so, she was in again. The best I hope. Yes, yes, how are you? Cool. Oh, 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 it's wonderful to see you. She had the she has reached out to us uh, Dr. Campbell's ago, film and she and showed it at East Greenwich Library. Oh. In and and this is Mr. Zimmer. School lunches. Mm -hmm. And so we'll continue and this to is work Tammy. with them. Tammy. Hi. for a week and I was then she was right back out again in a week. So she's been I think she's been having some spells, you know, but so she was in again. The best oh, yes, I'm are you? Sam, 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 had the she has reached out to us uh, Dr. Campbell's ago, film and she and showed it at East Greenwich Library. Oh. And in this is Mr. Zimmer. School mm -hmm. And so we'll continue and this to work is with Tammy. Them. Hi. This hi. And this is Doug. Yeah, hi. Nice to meet everybody. Why don't you have a chair over there next to oh. Madeline? And Madeline will get you some. I certainly will. Oh, I don't. I, I already ate. I'm sorry. I, I eat early. I just thought I'd come by and, and say hi to everybody, meet everybody, since, you know. Saying I'm going to show up. And, and what else have you done that was vegetarian vegan after the East Greenbush film show? Well, 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 I was over at. Um, oh, what am I doing sitting down? I've been sitting I in my car. <laughs> I, I'm going to hang what around. This is from the Senate. I, I, I was at the, um, Dr. T. Colin Campbell, the Senate the the Albany Veg Fest this past year. I was there. And now I'm just kind of trying to make connections because I'm doing plant based wellness consulting. To Hawaii and Mahalo, mm -hmm. bringing your message of a law. Plant based wellness consulting. Yes. To individuals or corporations? In individuals, or? groups, anybody who wants it. I mean, I do. I do one-on-one -on -one counseling, and I also do things like, you know, Thank people you switch to this kind of way of eating, and they don't really, or they hear about it, and they don't really know they don't know what to eat, they don't know how to make it, they don't know how to make it taste good, and so I'll do stuff like, I'll take people shopping, like I'll take them over to Honest Wade or Farmer's Markets or whatever, and show them what there is, and, and talk about what they can do with it, and I will actually go into people's homes or into corporations if they want me, and they haven't yet, but they might. Um, to do like cooking demos and I'm actually going to be doing a uh, raw apple pie class at Honest Weight Food Co-op in September and I'm teaching a class on healthy baked goods at Hudson Valley in November. <laughs> so. A raw apple pie. Mm -hmm. Wow. As in not cooked. That sounds, sounds good. Wow. Sounds well, because I can't eat pastry dough. It doesn't agree with me. I don't really eat a lot of oil, so I eat the pastry dough and my stomach gets really bad. So. We're going to start our meeting. No more laughing, no more fun. Quite the meeting damn. has begun. <laughs> yeah. and Barbara Hamilton, would you be so kind as to read uh, a, a, a little bit of this? It's right there in your magazine and it's on page what? Madeline, what page is that? Um, that is page 21. Thank you. Page 21, everybody. And we're going to read about uh, a man named Katz. Thanks, Barb. Katz has dedicated his life to the science and maintenance 
a logic and reason approach to life. He has training in emergency medical medicine and hospitalistic medicines. Brooke uses food as a healing tool and has become a gourmet chef in order to get the messages across. He authored several cookbooks including new favorites and made videos. Brooke feeds vegan food to thousands of people every year absolutely free of charge because he feels it's one of the best and most dramatic ways of convincing people to listen to the rest of the truths. Thank you. And what's that other one, Barb? Uh, Kevin. Kevin Storm Colfer? Yes, just a little bit about him. Is the youngest radio host in New Jersey. He started six weeks before his 12th birthday at a small station in southern New Jersey broadcasting to the Philadelphia area. Now he is at a larger station, WNJE 920, The Voice, Princeton, on Sundays at noon Eastern. Kevin was born to a veteran mom who is a truck driver. His dad was a chef at, at the time, but is not a veteran. Kevin has spent a lot of time at protest leafleting and tabling with oh, local groups. He enjoys playing baseball, chess, video games, <coughs> reading fiction, and hanging out with friends. Could you read uh, uh, the two first two paragraphs about donating to nonprofits? How are you? Do you support causes which you feel are important? Are you a vegan, vegetarian, or vegan curious? Are you interested in compassionate, helpful, sustainable living? Supporting a nonprofit is an opportunity to put your money where your mouth is. Actions speak louder than words. Donating to a cause that is aligned with your beliefs can certainly give you a sense of satisfaction. When you satisfy your hard-earned money, sacrifice your hard-earned money in order to help a bigger cause, you receive a sense of purpose purpose in life, inner satisfaction, and can strengthen your spiritual life. Oh, thank you. Would you introduce yourself to all of us friends? <laughs> okay, well, hi, I'm Sandy. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> yeah. You know Sandy? Sandy Carter. Uh, Sandy, uh, to some... your left yeah. is Mr. Zimmerman. Hello, how are you? Mr. Zimmer. Zimmer. Zimmer? No, man. Zimmerman. <laughs> Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer. And uh, no, you know Doug, don't yes. you, Sandy? Yes, yeah, yeah, how are sure you, Doug? Know. And this yeah. is our new arrival from New Lebanon, Stephenstown, right. uh, Barbara Hamilton. Hello. Uh, and this is Tammy. And Hi. you know Madeline, of course. Yeah. Well, this is your neighbor. I know that. <laughs> I know I know. Sandy. Now, I just have to tell you, I think I'm Barbara Hamilton. And I'm Sam Marshall. Sam, Sam. Hi. So Sandy, you want a bowl to put some food in? Sure. And I brought some. This is some, some vegan coleslaw with tahini dressing. Oh, this is something to bring at some point. I didn't have time to make anything, but. Okay. 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 I make some raw cookies or something. I mean, I make regular food too. I make non raw food too, but when it's hot out, you, you, you just think, I really don't want to know about raw, raw cookies. Um, raw cookies are easy. Uh, Pat, this is Barbara Hamilton from Stephentown. Hi, Barbara. This is Pat. And, oatmeal. And this is Well, actually, I have a really, really great uh, recipe that you can free it up. You know, blog talk is covered in candy. This is Pat. Ooh, if you like dessert, it's chocolate covered candy. Don't eat chocolate covered candy. Katie. It's Barbara, just like it's like raisins, I mean, uh, cocoa powder, <laughs> peanut you butter, and one of the finger or something. And it's like we have been here. It's like I'm not one stop for Amy. Unless I'm one to hand well, off the you put in there with the sure. dates, the sweet got it, honey. Mm -hmm. Here's the dates. Yeah. Oh, I like dates. Okay. Thanks. I just didn't have time today. I thought I'd just stop. Okay, we'll do what you said, honey. I'm kind of saying for like a year. Oh, boy, look at that. Yeah, it's all cut. Here comes the corn lady. All right. You put on the cob? You're welcome. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, Richard's expecting me, so I don't want to keep the corn on the cob. Handicap parking space. And pizza. Barbara, you're welcome. Slice of pizza? Wow, all the all the French apples. Is this being put on the top for you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and hot. I don't know what it's nice and hot. Even the crust, though. You don't put egg in crust. I don't know. I I don't make crust, so I don't know. Here, corn. Sure. Oh, I don't know. Oh, well. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Wow. Yeah. How about you? Sure. There's another yeah, plate right there. Okay. I'll hold that one. Do you hold me the plate? Oh, no, I've eaten. Thank no, you. it's good. All right. I eat early and I have right. bizarre you. dietary Tammy, do you want a slice of pizza on your plate? You know what? I'm going to try it. Yes, I am. Thank All you. All right. Well, I mean, you, you go take care of stuff actually. and I'll come back around. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I have um, some food a lot, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Small one. Yes. Um, I'd love a piece of corn. I don't have a paper plate, but... I can um, put it in your bowl if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay. Tammy, Tammy actually wants a slice, too. Okay. Well, thank you, Barbara. I'll come back. tomato and it's ripe to be eaten and it's a very pretty green don't you think as pretty green as it is the other tomatoes red on 12 grain bread this is a cat in a briefcase are you a lawyer's cat this cat likes to sleep in a briefcase and over here are some discs that have been labeled and they are of TV stations 1 to 15 the first group and this is like the first week second week third week and fourth week you see the TV stations play the program four times in a month and they repeat it the next month that's a stack of DVDs we buy them by the hundreds we buy them 300 at a time it costs about $150 when you add up the cost of the sleeves, too. And what Austin is doing over here is finalizing. Uh, a DVD is a grand step forward. However, VHS, you did not have to finalize. But Austin really has it down to a lickety split process. What are these? These are labeled, aren't they? We're all through our labeling, aren't we? We've done fourth week. Um. Yeah. And this is my lunch pail. Two delicious vegetarian hamburgers. The best ones are Morningstar Farms, the original griller. Actually, the best one is Fry Pats, the brother of this one, made by Worthington Foods. Vacuum cleaner comes all apart so that you can wash everything and keep it clean. TV shows ready to go, ready to be wrapped. Paint over there, ready to paint the rail on the upstairs porch. This is for October and November. Four weeks, one show per week to be repeated in November.
new light bulb, $15. Over here wrapped are 1 to 10 and 11 to 20 TV stations. The quads and the specials and then some of the half hour TV stations. You can stack them because they're all sorted. You don't have to worry; they're going to come up automatically, correctly. You know, it's just going to be like hard to carry more than like a few stations at a time. And put away the footstool, would you please? Mm-hmm. Is it going the other area, out in the front? Yeah. All right. All right. There's 31 to 40 wrapped. Wait, where's East Hartford? I accidentally wrapped three discs. I need to put one back in. Into a supreme being whom we call God, whom we make in our own image and likeness. Small, moody, capricious, capricious suspicious, and unforgiving. There is no such God. When you and I want to know God, we must go to the gospel and read there in faith all that our Lord has revealed, and it takes all of our faith because it is so breathtakingly beautiful. Knowing our limitations, the Lord went around telling stories to help us in our imagining something of God's mercy and goodness and forgiveness and love. And one of the great stories in the story is the story he told of the Good Shepherd. God likening himself to a shepherd of sheep, the shepherd who knows each sheep by name, who is willing to lay down his life for his sheep, who loves those sheep, and one of them gets tired of life in the fold, and he goes out in search of green pastures elsewhere. And he wanders all day through the hills and the valleys until evening comes and the night falls, and there he is caught in the briars, bleeding, helpless, frightened, and alone. And the shepherd goes out in search for him, and the gospel tells us he went on searching until he found him. And when he did find him, there was no reproach. There was no reprimand, there was no punishment. Rather, did he put him on his shoulders, rejoicing, returning home with a song in his heart because he had found the sheep that was lost. So beautiful. Do you believe it? It takes all our faith to accept this story of God's love. What do we know about that sort of love, you and I? We only know the sort of love the Irish poet wrote about. You gave me the key to your heart last night. Then why did you make me knock? Oh, that was yesterday, saints above. And today, I changed the lock. We know the love that promises fidelity at the altar and in two years wants a divorce. But the love that never wavers, never wans, wanes. This is the love of God that you and I must accept as his child. 
our Lord put us all in our place very beautifully, very quietly. In that parable, he says, I am the good shepherd. I know mine, and mine know me. Do you know I know him? Do you and I know him? The little flower, that extraordinary French girl who died in a convent in Normandy at the age of 24, tells us she would have been one of the great sinners of the world if she had not become a nun. This is what she said. Even though I had every mortal sin in the world on my soul, I would still fling myself into the arms of His mercy, knowing that He loves me. Do you know Him? Do I? This is the challenge of our lives. But our Lord not only preached about forgiveness, He showed it to the woman taken in adultery, to the thief on the cross, who after a lifetime of evil must have broken many hearts as He emptied many pockets, <coughs> and to Peter the Apostle, who saw Him work miracle after miracle, who was given a vision of heaven on Mount Tabor, and said, Lord, it is good for us to be here. Let us remain here always. Peter the priest, on the night of his ordination, with the precious blood still moist on his lips, goes out into the night air and swears he doesn't know Christ. He's ashamed of him. He denies him. The condemnation of Peter. Simon, son of John, do you love me? Now that same love, that same forgiveness, is alive in the church, in the sacrament of reconciliation, where you and I can find it at any time. Even though our sins be as red as scarlet, He will make our souls as white as snow. You and I do not understand it. We have to accept it in faith as children. There's a poem written by some anonymous Christian who talks about our Lord hanging on His cross, speaking to Judas. Someone called it the kernel of Christianity. It goes like this. Judas, if true love never ceases, how could you, my friend, have come to this? To sell me for thirty silver pieces? Betray me with a kiss? Judas, remember that what I taught you. Do not despair while hanging on that rope. It's because you have sinned that I have sought you. I came to give you hope. Judas, let's pray and hang together. You on your halter, I upon my hill. Dear friend, even if you love me never, you know that I love you still. Amen. Amen. Yeah, Glendora, you know, you might want to... Yep, you're taking a picture. Good for you, Nicholas. Thank you. Hold it steadily. Just taking a picture on the camera. Nicholas! What grade are you in, honey? Seven. <laughs> second. second. You're in the second grade, right? Yeah. Oh, good for you, Nicholas. Do you like to uh, draw? Yes. Uh huh. And do you like to do arithmetic, mathematics? No. You don't. <laughs> oh, hello. Our Labor Day Saturday. And that's Minji. Ninja. Ninja. He came from West Virginia. And where's little? Uh... She's right here. Hold the camera steady, honey. Don't, don't move it fast, it makes the people at home dizzy. <laughs> uh, where's Lulu? Move it very slowly. Jenny! Brutus! Brutus! <laughs> what you doing, bud? Ninja. Ninja! You have to look. get a picture of Ah! Oh, what the heck? Take him back to Glendora. Uh, Lord, all Lord, right, Lord. honey. Check his work. I don't know <laughs> what he was actually doing there. Nick, here, try some of this milk. Huh. Look at him at play. Isn't that cute? Brutus Ninja, come, come. Oh boy. Look at him play. Oh boy. The little one wants to play too. Oh, I can't trust her. She'll run forever. These two I know will come back when I call them. Ah. Get in the mood. Get in the mood. Get in the mood. It's so much fun to see them play. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> poor baby.
Well, isn't that good that they play together? Oh, yeah. Ninja! Here, you gotta hold her. Yeah, she's not going anywhere. She thinks she's tied up. She's not going anywhere. Huh? You think you're tied up? You're not going anywhere. Oh. <laughs> I'll be back there, Dora. You don't want to go there now, huh? No, you're not right this second. You're tired, huh? Yeah, I'm really tired. I definitely don't want to do it today. Oh, you well, you... the stuff. Ninja. And you guys hate dogs? Sorry. Ninja, we're right here. Ninja. Hey, Brutus, no. You okay? Yeah. No, that's not allowed. No jumping. Oh, he's on his <laughs> on his But it showed that Brutus loved her. Oh, he likes... He likes attention, that's why. All right, right no, he here. just wants to be loved. Hello there, little Noah. Hey, come over here. The dogs are wrestling. You the house. I'll knock you down. Brutus! Hey, right here. Hey, Ninja, right here. <laughs> right here. Ninja. Still crawls on the roof. Brutus sits it. Sits it. Down. Down. Good boy. Down, good boy. Down, good boy. Down, good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Down, good boy. Down, good boy. Down, good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. Good boy. Ninja down. Ninja sit. Down, good boy. Good boys. They're all tired you're out. You're a good girl, Jenny. You're a good girl. Yes, you're a good They're girl. They're all tired out. You're a good girl, Jenny. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. What do you want? Huh? You didn't like it. Well, it's not that I didn't like it. It's not handicap accessible. The speaker rooms were an issue. Um, like last year, we had the speaker room out in a tent, right? Yes, well, and, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, a lot of people complained it was cold or it was hot. They, with the heaters running, you couldn't hear. <laughs> uh, Brutus, right here. I know, you know, there's another dog over there, huh?
guys know there's another dog over there, huh? Rest. 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 <laughs> Bye, Bye, baby. Bye, Gondora. Bye, babies. Bye, Gondora. Bye, honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever, <you're back. laughs> All right. There you go. All right. We'll see you later. A good time with three adults, three children, and three dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Eric. Goodbye, Glendor. We love you. Love you, too. My neighbors. They had such a good time and meet new people. Goodbye. Off to Gilderland they go. You know where that is, folks? Outside of Albany. God be with you all. Bye-bye. New children waving goodbye to them. You had fun, did you? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Goodbye, Naomi. She's not sick, you know. She's just playing with those crutches. Goodbye, all. God be with you. And thank you. What's it all about? God, the universe, and helping others. The Glendora Franklin Museum for the preservation of the public access pro se newspaper record. Yeah, I'm not sure. Th what should we do, quit and go some other day? Go for, for a cold drink instead. <laughs> what, dear? Oh, what's up with this music box? The liquid came out of it. That's sweet. Well, it was very. You notice it's all animals, isn't it? Yeah, peace on earth. Yeah. Yeah. The lion shall peace. lie down. With yes, the lamb. that's exactly what it is, Isaiah. It's beautiful. Yeah. He works. But his liquid all fell out. You know what makes yes. it smell? So we want, do you want us to adjourn, honey? Well, I don't know. Uh, we could work for a little bit, but I think it may... What do you think? Maybe, uh... What, what's it, what was your goal? What do you want to do? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, look at each one and uh, write down the contents and see if there's anything to be thrown away. Uh, broad brim hatch is empty. But there's a winter hat. That winter hat. Okay. Could you write that down, column 34 winter okay. hat? Did, uh, is it pens in here? There are two. You like coming Christmas music while we work? <laughs> Now these. Okay, now putting my key, car keys in here, this clipboard. Don't let me forget where I put them. <laughs> you put what? Are my car keys inside the clipboard. Car keys are inside the clipboard. <laughs> okay, so what am I writing down? First uh, of all, I'm going to get you a chair. You see that chair? Oh, that's there? okay. I'm all right. I've got a chair too. Do you have a chair? Mm hmm. Okay. Now this well, is. Well, what if we bring the boxes over closer to the door? Okay, but I think. I'll do that. And then. Uh, and then we get some fresh air too, and it won't be quite as hot. I'll carry the boxes and then I'll put them back. Here, can I just get uh, past you, Gundor, to the door? Okie dokie. There. Okay, so you want to bring your chair a little closer this way, and I'll move the boxes down here and then put them back? Are you happy where you are? Okay. Well, what number am I writing? Or nothing yet. 34? 
just has that one hat. One winter hat. Do you want to put it into a different box? No. <laughs> I'll just take directions. Number 34, one winter hat. <laughs> Android. I don't think you should throw that away, Glendor. What is it? Android. Is that a phone? Uh, no, it's a, a computer in your hand. Here, let me get that. I don't think you should throw that away, but those I think you might throw away. Okay. So. I'm going to toss them out then. If we have something that we're throwing away, I'm crossing out the door, okay? Uh, no, wait till we have a box to get them all together. Okay. A camcorder, honey. Look at the old camcorder. <laughs> I think since this is a... How long have you been uh, making videos? Nineteen... 1972. Wow. Uh, okay, the one below 34, hun, is Android. And camcorder. Okay, hun? Okay. And I think we should save that. Are you going to put it in with the winter hat? No. So what number then shall I give it? Oh, it doesn't have a number. It's just column 34. And you've got the top one, and now you've got the one underneath. Okay? Oh, okay. It's the columns, not the boxes. Yeah, so this can go back. I think it would be wise to keep this. And what did I do with the cup? Right here. Okay. How are you doing on fresh air? Uh, I'm better here. I wish you'd sit down here. And then let me bring, let me do the lifting of the boxes. Well, no, you, I have to. There. This one's okay. You don't have to go anymore. We've done one column out of five. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so we'll put these back. That the, one goes first. Okay. Yep. And this and one goes next. Okay. This is very similar to what I've been doing in my classroom, you know. <laughs> oh, no. I you've just, got enough of this. I, no, no. It's just... Uh, we're, we're kindred spirits in that. Oh, okay, we're kindred spirits. That's we appreciate things. And that, but my, my, my uh, assistant teacher is very orderly and highly organized. And uh, so sometimes I give her permission. I leave the room and I give her permission to throw things away <laughs> before I can get back. <laughs> now, column 33. Okay. You want me to take this down? Uh, no, I know what that is. If you go okay. right down close. Okay. Uh, and if you would make boxes for column 34, uh, one, two, three, four boxes and say Franklin's newspaper articles. For 34. Yeah. Am I writing large enough? Mm. Nice. And Number 30, 33 is that, or 35 did you say? No, it's 34. Okay, I thought we'd moved on to the next column. No, I'm moving backwards. <laughs> and 33 is all closed. Column 33 is all closed. Column 32 is all closed.
34. Uh, column 32 is all closed. Column 31 is all closed. Column 32 is all closed. What do I know? Column 30 is all closed. And you might say hats. Column 30 is hats. And all closed. Okay. Column 29. Column 30. Okay, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. That's it, honey. Okay. What about 29? That was done when Austin was here. Okay. That's it? That's it. Well, that was easy. Yeah. Are you sure? Anything else you want to do while we're here? Oh, no. That's all. Okay. That's good. I don't think of anything we can throw away, do you? No. When do you we, have a do you have a a goal of trying to uh, find homes for things and and combining boxes or what's what's your end goal? Oh, the, well, well, the the purpose of this visit every month yeah is to go through five columns uh -huh. and see if anything is corroded or deteriorated and is dangerous and should be thrown out. Okay. Or is see if there's anything to be thrown out that can't be used, such as those. Yeah. And uh, and put them in order and make a current list. That's what the project okay. is. Okay. So that's to answer your question. Yeah. Okay. So that when we come in uh, October, we'll be changing the winter clothes over to the summer clothes. Yeah. That's not. That's nice. We're all the way around to there. Starts there. Yeah. We're all the way around. That's great. Now, aren't you amazed at how well it keeps itself? Yeah, it's a good system. It really is. No, but and I mean, the stability of it. I mean that it it doesn't fall all apart. You come in every month, and things are okay. Right. You right. Know, you know, it isn't falling over. It isn't crashed. It isn't. Right. Roof isn't leaking. Yep. There's it no mice. Seems to be animal proof. Yeah. You don't come in and find a bear sitting at your desk. <laughs> or Goldilocks. Or Goldilocks. You might find her. Yeah. No, I'm very pleased yeah. with it. These are all Franklin's newspaper articles. Yeah. Those three columns. Did I ever show you one of his books? No. Okay, I will show you one. Yeah, I'd like to see one. I have a box here marked Bible CDs. What's that, then? I see a box marked Bible CDs. Are those? Um, yes, those are. Uh, yeah, those are truly people. A man reading the Bible. Here is a book, Sandy. Okay, I'm coming over. Oh. Have a chair. You know you want to be by yourself. Yeah. These are all articles that he wrote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would come home at night, he'd paste the date line, and he'd paste his article. Right. And he has, there's two volumes for every year. Wow. This is six months. 
They keep well too, don't they? Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's terrific. This is dark. Did so you now, a byline? did you see a byline? Franklin Buell? Yeah, oh yeah, it, it says by Franklin Buell. Yeah. Hmm. That's good that you saw those. Prayers untaxed. Oh no, payers. <laughs> Be nice if I knew how to read. Okay. <laughs> Neat. So. That's enough. Yeah. You they could be put on microfiche, right? Huh. Yeah, as you say, the human interest stories, that was that's what, that's his what he specialty, liked the right? He liked, in a nutshell, he liked to write about small people doing big things. Neat. Nice, huh? Yeah, very nice. You know, some of these boxes are empty, but that's good, because it expands. Yeah. Now this one says paint. Is that safe to leave there? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'll put this chair back down there. But when we get up there, we'll, uh, we'll probably throw it out. Yeah. But what it is, is it's green paint. We shouldn't throw it out, because we need it, you know, for touch-ups. Yeah. Uh, here's your camera. Oh, that's good to remind me of that. And your keys are where? Got them. Got them. I got them. Okay. okay. And this one, you lock uh, from the inside like okay. this and yeah. close it. Put the books back on the desk. Yeah, those go right there because they are door stops. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there. I'm going down, okay, All Sandy? Right. Go carefully. Do you want me to hold your clipboard for you? No, I got it, hun. Thanks. Now, we got everything the camera, keys. the keys, the clipboard, your keys, and the throwaways. Yeah. Your service pin plan was successfully added to your phone. Your service end date is 10-7-2015. A miracle. Okay. Where's okay? That's from the old one. Very good. Now, once I put in this number, so I put in this number, and I would say it was 10 seconds going Wherever it went, what does it go to? A cell tower, and then it goes to a computer in the sky, and then it comes back to me. What happens? Anyway, 25,000 miles, 10 seconds. We have a wonderful creator. And you are a vegan cat. And you are 77 years old. You're 11 years old. 
as of this spring, last spring. And 11 times 7 is 77. And you're sleeping upside down. But isn't that amazing, folks? Ten seconds. And it was registered renewed for another 30 days. Blue and no goo on Labor Day. And three weeks without rain. There's a doggy. That's Butch's dog. No. Tammy will come over today, I hope, and, and enlarge this font. The only way I can see it is through the camera's zoom lens. Why couldn't Mozart find his teacher? Question mark. Because he was hiding. Publish. I think we did. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. See if we can find anybody who liked Jessidy's joke. Who? Let's say what? Write a comment. Yeah, the men's study group. Well, tell them the joke, Glendora. Well, in church, uh, Nate, the minister, said, at 5 o'clock this afternoon, we are starting a men's study group. And I stood up and I said, well, I'm coming. I've been studying men 60 years, and I just still don't understand them. And 25 people saw that. And Stephen C. Butler and Lynn Dugan like it. Do you know what you're doing, Glendor? No. Why couldn't we find... We did that one. Let's find another one. Twenty-five people.
The eye doctor said to the Japanese man, you have a cataract. And the Japanese man says, no, I have a Rinkin. Mary Ellen Fitzgerald Riley Scott I guess they liked it. I can't find how many people there were. Saw it. 25. Okay. There's the dog we rescued. An hour a day on this. Reading this book, folks. Uh, Buddhism on air. Televised kaleidoscope of a growing religion it was uh, it's for English speaking people and is to make to give Americans the benefits of Buddha the comfort and the peace and uh, who wrote it access to TV series available online Kenneth Kenshin Tanaka Tanaka, isn't she my sponsor on in San Jose? I think so. Anyway, here's a nice thing. There is nothing as empty as an existence in which we do not no, why we were born into this world and for what we should devote our lives. I agree with that, won't you folks? I certainly will agree with it. Won't you, Dotcom? Absolutely. So, what's your answer, Glendora? I hope it's right. I was born into this world, and all others I know were born into this world to create, to operate what we've created, to help each other, to help everything that we have created, this whole world, this whole universe, these trees, this grass, that sun, that blue sky, we are here to create and operate and to help and to stay away from ego and to stay away from evil. We are here just to do good and bring kindness and happiness to all and work together and create and operate. Mm. 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 I don't know. And Mr. Tanaka says, and it's our sincere hope that what we have to share with you, both the knowledge and the spiritual dimensions of Buddhism, will add to making your lives more meaningful while also contributing to the peace and happiness of the world. Good for you, Sir Tanaka. That's right. Thank you. This program is being sponsored by the Society for the Promotion of Buddhism for something, something, something. Since 1965, this nonprofit, non sectarian organization has dedicated itself to the promotion of Buddhism throughout the world. Well, I think it's a great thing to promote, the little bit I know about it. For example, the society has been distributing free of charge the book, The Teaching of Buddha, 
in hotels. This book is now translated into 41 different languages, including Swahili, Arabic, Finnish, what? Tagalog, and English, and is in 1,100,000 rooms in 55 countries. Good for you people. Keep it up. The Society has also established academic chairs of Buddhists, Buddhist studies at 14 universities in Europe and North America that include Oxford University. Well, that's pretty good. The University of California, okay, at Berkeley, where I used to live. I was a psychology, I was assistant in the psychology department, and I took tennis. And Harvard, well, those are pretty good. Iodine, you can hardly see it. Iodine took it away. And dot com is vegan. Compassion over killing. We sent them a hundred dollars. Meet Crystal. How I became an undercover investigator. Compassion over killing. Investigations on CNN three times. Compassion over killing expresses NC chicken industry, exposes North Carolina chicken industry, foster farms, a nightmare for baby birds. We're making vegan eating business as usual and so much more. It's stationed in Washington, D.C. The meat industry keeps fighting back hard to silence us, but with you at our side. We're fighting back. As you'll read in this issue, compassion over killing, undercover cameras keep rolling, and with in-depth reports on CNN, we're shining an even brighter light on hidden cruelties behind the closed doors of animal agricultures. Compassion over killing is winning time and again for animals. Thanks to you, together we're changing the world. Their telephone number is uh, Maryland, 301, but their address is Washington, D.C. Twenty years. Uh, 
and what is her name? Erica Meyer. God bless her. And you're winning because you're a vegan. Folks, I feel the oneness. I feel that oneness. I feel that we're all together. God, the universe, ourselves, and everybody we know, and all of our ancestors and all of our relatives as far away as we can sense. I feel it. That all together we built the universe. And we're operating it now and we're continuing to create it. All of our ancestors goes all the, all the way back. And all of the atoms and all of the molecules, we all work together to make this universe. And we are all working together to operate it. I feel that oneness. I just feel it. I feel it. We're all working together. We're all having the delight of it and the enjoyment of it and the satisfaction of it. Ancestors? Yes, yes, all the way, way, way back. All of the animals who became extinct. We all work together in our own way. Now this is a touchy one. You can't, you can't count blessings for yourself. You can't give thanks for yourself. Because that's taking away some of the universe and giving it to yourself. No, no. You can only count blessings when it's blessings for all of us. Because who gave you the blessing? Somebody else. The others gave you the blessing. Okay, thank others then. Yeah, you could do that. You thank others for your blessings. But still, to thank somebody for something means that you have taken it. You've taken it as yours and you've taken it as being part or being away from the whole. You've taken something for yourself. Oh, this is difficult. This is a difficult one. If I thank God for my health, it really, okay, who is God? God is the universe and all others. So yes, it is God, the universe, and all others that I would thank for my health. But I want everybody to be healthy. And all the people I know who are unhealthy are unhealthy because they don't eat right. Oh, I don't know. But I know that I feel that oneness. Not only with the oneness that here in the present now with this whole wide wide universe and all others and God they're all the same it's all one not only do I feel it in the present but I feel it in the past I feel that all of us together in the past all of us all of our predecessors I can feel that oneness with them all all together. The universe was built and created and operates today. What about the future? Do you feel oneness with the future? Woo! Oneness with the future. Yeah. Where are you going when you leave the body? I don't know. Are you going into the future with the others to run the universe? Oh, I don't know. I 
I wish I could find somebody to talk these things over with. You know, the people I meet all day long, we just talk about trivia. You know, second rate. We don't talk about these things. There must be somebody around who understands these things and can transmit them. You know any college professors? No. Any philosophers and ministers? They don't ever get on this level. It's always the lower level. The mundane. Who can tell us? Who can tell us what it is? Here's a thought, folks, about the rain. You know, we've been three and a half weeks without any rain. And the deer plants are dying. And the trees are getting all... They're not green anymore. And the grass is gone. But what do you do? You don't, you don't complain about it. What do you do? You say, we have the rain to look forward to. We have the rain to look forward to. The rain is coming and how happy we will be and how happy the plants will be. We have the rain, a joy to look forward to. And it's the same thing with winter. In the winter when everything is cold and frozen and the walking is treacherous and there's snow to shovel and it's dark and you can say, no, we have spring to look forward to. We have something to look forward to. We have a great joy coming. What do you have to do tomorrow? I'm lying in bed and it's dark and I don't have anything to write it on. And you know, you think of them at night in the morning, they're gone. Uh, caramel, Comcast and Carmel uh, has 20 DVD videos to return, so they need three dollars in postage to return them. A dollar twenty, two forty, and another forty-nine cent stamp. Uh, also. Hop Hog Woodbury, Cablevision, and Long Island. They need to return this. So send them $3 worth of stamps and an address card. And send Arnie Engen $20 for returning the tapes. And he sends them, he doesn't send them media mail. That wastes a dollar and a half. Well, send him $20 as a gift. Find a good DVD disc for Rob to send to Philadelphia. Uh, and send to Rob Jackson the four new shows for October, November. He'll get them two, three weeks, a couple weeks early, give him plenty of time. What else? See, you've forgotten it already. There's two or three others. No more eating in restaurants. No more eating in restaurants. I took a friend to lunch today and he killed a pig. Now you should have known not to order like that. You know, he should have ordered vegetarian. And in restaurants you don't get what you want. No, stick to the saintly eating. Stick to the six saintly eatings. The salad, the fruit, the cereal, and the soy milk. 
the peanut butter and crackers and the orange juice, the nut fruit juice, the, I mean the nut fruit shake, which is bananas, oats, cashews, and pineapple juice, and granola. Stick to that. And if you want to socialize with people and try to help people, don't take them to lunch. Invite them here and cut up an apple with an orange, with a banana, with grapes, and put olive oil on it, and put maple syrup on it, and put lime juice on it, and then sprinkle it with granola. That's a delicious, delicious filling and salubrious food. And then serve it with Triscuits, and then serve it with orange juice. How do you know they'll like it? I don't, so try it. And have them come to the beautiful yard, <clears throat> the West Lawn, acres of green grass, rolling green grass, trees and shrubbery. No, no more restaurants. I got one more appointment. Finish that and let it be it. Last night at Bible study, I was so sleepy at let me tell you what time it is. 8.22. I was so sleepy at quarter to eight that I thought I was going to have to be carried home on a stretcher and put to bed. And now tonight, it's 8.22, and I'm wide awake. Call Tammy tomorrow, computer tutor. And ask her to come over and straighten out those things about the computer. Why it won't go left and why it won't go right. And why the pages won't go up and down when you want them to. And then you go to look for something and it goes to something else. And then it won't come back. But it's a marble. Twitter. Austin says that Twitter analytics states there have been over 1,000 impressions on Twitter. When did he start that? On April vacation, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What's a Twitter about? It's a Glendora Happy Thought. Each day, a Glendora happy thought. And now it's locked, and I can't get it unlocked. It won't move. And it won't tweet. <laughs> and over on Facebook, Tammy went away and left the font too small for me to see. So call her tomorrow and have her come over and put the font back, enlarged it. What else? Oh, wait a second, folks. I get it. Instead of saying, thank you for giving it to me, you say, thank you for all of us. It was good for all of us. Thanks for all of us. It was a blessing to all of us, not to me, but to all of us. Because it isn't yours. It isn't mine. It belongs to all of us. All of us benefit from it. Yeah, that's the trick. When you talk to people, you ask them, do you know anybody who made it to the top with God? Or you say to them, tell me about God. Or...
whatever. Anyway, I think what you should say is, do you know anybody who can tell me about God? Do you know anybody who has a really close relationship with God and can tell me about God? Anybody around here? Is there anybody around here who can sit down and tell me about God? Do you know anybody? Do you? I want to know more about God. Who can tell me? Do you know who can tell me? This is Meditation in the Dark. Waiting for sleep. Waiting for Morpheus. Maybe the rain will come tomorrow. We have it to look forward to. The rain. We have the rain to look forward to, plants. If Tammy does come tomorrow, computer tutor, then we ought to video it for you folks to see if you'd be interested in it and see if it would help you in any way. She goes all around the world and tells how many people all around the world watch it. One in Australia, one in Morocco, <laughs> one in uh, Macedonia, quite a few in the United Kingdom, uh, quite a few in the United States. It's interesting the countries. Oh, the computer is really amazing. It computes. It just likes to count. It likes to count things. And it never ends. Never ends. It's infinite, almost, as far as I can see. I don't know anybody who knows the whole thing. Well, no, you don't know anybody who knows much anyhow. No, but I mean... Gee, I'd like to meet a real computer expert who would sit down and show its capacity. I'd like to meet a real intellect 